Derivation of e squared equals to p squared c squared plus m squared c to the fourth. We start with a constant gamma, which we define to be the energy of the particle in motion divided by the energy of the particle at rest. That ratio is defined to be gamma. And furthermore, we also say that gamma is equal to this expression. Here, we have V equals to velocity of the particle. And we have C as the speed of light. Rewriting the previous equation, we see that E particle in motion equals to gamma times E particle at rest. Then we say that the energy of the particle at rest equals to mc squared. Then we start writing E for energy of particle in motion equals to gamma times mc squared. Or writing out gamma in its entirety, we see that the energy equals to one over one minus V over C quantity squared square root times MC squared. We notice in passing that this quantity M times gamma is a relativistic mass, a concept that is used in other derivations. So we continue in this vein by noticing the following. If we now go ahead and square both sides of the equation, we end up with the following. This implies The denominator is 1 minus v over c quantity squared, and the numerator we're going to write in an interesting and unique way. We essentially say 1 minus plus so all we've done is subtracted this term and added it right back again it's still the same expression. Then we can see that this is equal to that. Now, this implies that we can see that e squared equals to the first term, m squared c to the fourth, plus the numerator times this term right here, which is seen to be our gamma squared. So we can see then that this is gamma squared times c to the fourth. Here we can do some cancellations. We cancels 
some C's, and then we end up with the following. Now, we notice here that this term right here can be defined as the relativistic momentum squared. So, e squared equals 2 m squared c to the fourth plus p squared c squared, or e squared equals to p squared c squared plus m squared c to the fourth, which was the expression we were looking to derive. In passing, we notice that for a photon, and we notice, of course, that a photon being a massless particle, m goes to zero. So we essentially have that second term going to zero e squared equals to p squared c squared or e equals to pc as expected. So that is how this equation comes to be, which is uh, very useful in relativistic physics.